hope you're all doing really well. I've been extremely busy, hence the reason that I haven't been able to upload any videos, but I do apologise. Um, but I've got so much more to update you on, so I hope that, although it's been a lengthy gap, um, I hope that I can actually um, impress you with what I've been up to. So basically, I want to thank you and say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has subscribed, who has commented, who has basically just been involved in the channel and thank you so much for helping me reach over 5,000 subscribers. Um, it's been an amazing year, I mean since sort of my first upload of the Kate Middleton bridal makeup look I was just inspired to do more videos because you guys gave me so much feedback and support and you wanted to see more and I just wanted to share more and more with you and so I hope what um, can you know unfold in the next year as well can be just as interesting and just as exciting for all of you to watch um, unfold and with that I just wanted to kind of let you know that the Artists of Makeup eyeshadows as well I've received my sort of almost final batch of the colours and the shades and everything there's so many in front of me here that I'm so excited to just kind of like mess around and play around with them um, but let me just get started with the great news that I have and I just wanted to basically tell you that I want to do um, a kind of giveaway where I want to thank you guys for subscribing and for basically commenting and liking the videos and everything and my way of giving back is to get you guys also involved in the Artists of Makeup um, eyeshadows and palettes and everything so from my last video I did mention that I was in the process of developing the palette that I originally designed and what I've come up with just as an update instead of having the Artists of Makeup logo at on top of the plastic part here, I'm actually going to have it embossed as somebody suggested um, on the actual palette itself. It's going to be embossed in silver writing and the logo I've also slightly changed. I've um, made that a little bit more interesting, a bit more arty, but not completely arty, still sophisticated and classy and professional, but at the same time just something just to make it a little bit more unique. So that, that's the palette and that's at what stage I'm at with that. I'm still waiting for the manufacturers to send me a sample and as soon as it arrives I will share that with you. Now in terms of the actual eyeshadows themselves, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick preview of, of what they look like. Here's one of the samples I've received. The great thing is that they are extremely pigmented so they give a lot of colour. So for example this is the white shade. Um, it's just really really highly pigmented in terms of I mean the thing is these are just on my fingers but I've tested them out on myself and the the sort of payoff from the eyeshadows themselves um, are great the thing is I've got this here so I'm just gonna wipe it on my hand and it's probably not the best way to to show that but um, it's really really great that they're so pigmented and that I, I'm going to be able to do those kind of Arabic um, Indian bridal looks. I'm just so excited to kind of get started with them. And these are the pinky shades, so you've got the pinks, you've got a few browns in there, a few golds and beige colours. So that's the thing that I requested is that they are highly pigmented and they give a lot of colour payoff in terms of the um, coverage in terms of the eyeshadows as well so the neutral palette it contains uh, browns and golds and sort of beiges I've included a grey in there um, and just so that you know these colours are still not named so I've gotten the names of the ones that I've included in the video are just names that I've thought of and I feel inspired by but they are still not named so there's a lot of eyeshadow which I haven't used in any videos and so they're still nameless and the competition or giveaway that I want to do is to get you guys involved and to have you guys think of the names for these um, eyeshadows so I thought that would be really really fun and really interesting for you guys to all get involved and also the great thing is is that the winners will receive an artist of makeup palette and the palette will contain um, nine of your chosen eyeshadows so once we've sort of had the launch and everything you are able to pick at random however you wish to fill up your um, palette as you like so the winners will get that and I say winners because there are 
so many of them which are not named so I'm leaving up to as creative as possible in terms of whatever you suggest to me so if you think of a name and I think oh that sounds like a really gorgeous pink fuchsia colour for example um, I'm gonna go with that I'm just gonna think of the most creative the most fun so you guys really be creative think of something um, unique you know so this is your chance to get involved to be part of the artist of makeup palettes and i just think it's going to be great i can't wait to hear your suggestions i can't wait to hear what you guys um think of the actual eyeshadows i will be doing um, full full tutorials with all these colors once the actual website launches and i've been playing around with them myself i've tested it out on a few brides they loved the payoff they loved the colors um and I've loved using them. I mean, they're just gorgeous and I just can't wait for them to launch so that you can test them out for yourself. So in order to be eligible to win this beautiful Artist of Makeup palette with your choice of eyeshadows, all you have to do, you have to hop on over to the Artist of Makeup Facebook page and type, I cannot wait for the Artist of Makeup launch and then put your suggested eyeshadow code and name of what you feel is the inspiration of the eyeshadow name that you like. Do the same on the Twitter page. So hop on over to my Twitter account which is listed at the bottom and just type in I cannot wait for the Artist of Makeup launch and then put your suggested eyeshadow inspiration as well. So that's the competition. I want you to have a look on the Facebook page because I've included the actual um, full pictures of the eyeshadow palettes on there and have a look at what you think I mean don't think of all of the colors but pick a few that you feel inspired by which maybe you feel that you have a good name for and post your answers on the Facebook page and as well as the Twitter uh, my Twitter account and also on this YouTube um, comment section so I've included the links in the description box um, so the terms of the competition is that you like the Facebook page so hop on over to Facebook um, to this link um, like the Artist of Makeup page write down your comments in terms of what you want the eyeshadows to be named um, and each eyeshadow has got a code so just put the code of the eyeshadow and then just put the reference of the name that you feel most represents that colour. Um, don't worry if other people use your name, I'll go down and I'll see which one or which person was originally responsible for naming that creative name. Then also hop on over to Twitter, my Twitter account, there's a lot of you that are not following me because if there's 5,000 subscribers and I only have at the moment 636 followers then obviously not all of you are following me so if you want to keep updated with my tweets and what I've got to sort of say during the day or tips or things like that then do follow me I do have some interesting pics of myself and things that I'm up to during the week um, so they could be quite fun for you guys as well and a bit of banter and a bit of um, just a bit of a laugh really um, so yeah so check the Twitter account check the Facebook put your comment below and even just comment, let me know what you guys think of the palette of the actual eyeshadow colours as well. Um, I can't wait to really have it launch. I'm just working on the website now, the Artisan Makeup website. And um, I'm just so excited to share it all with you. Um, again, I have so much that I need to edit. I know a lot of you are waiting for the sort of Asian bridal look that I did a few well weeks ago in terms of the makeup and the hair. Um, and all the other videos that I've still got upcoming. So I've got so, so, so much to do, but I will get there eventually. And I will keep you um, sort of in tune with what I've got to come as well, as I've got a lot more brides this summer, and I will try and film some of them if I can, and if they allow me to. Um, so that's it. Uh, also, I wanted to let you know that I was also filmed in a recent Arabic TV channel that features um, on the A&B um, news channel. I will have a separate video for that. It is in Arabic, so I will subtitle the video if you guys are interested to watch it. I thought it may be something interesting for my Arab viewers to watch because I do speak in Arabic, although it's not necessarily fluent, but I have subtitled it as well, and that will be airing next week. So once it airs, I will be able to post it up. And I think that's 
enough of my ranting and enough of the roundup so far um, but if you do want to ask me any questions then do have a look on my twitter page and don't forget to give me your suggestions on what you think the artist of makeup eyeshadows should be called so until the next video i will see you then take care bye